Welcome to another Electro Technology video. And in this video, I am gonna show you how to correctly use a conduit snake. So one of the things we have to do as electricians is run a lot of cables. And quite often we have to run cable through this conduit. And when we're on a job, a lot of times the conduit might be bent like the one I've done here. And it can be a little bit awkward to get cable through because as you feed it through, it gets caught on these bends. So I'm gonna show you how to use a conduit snake to get around that particular problem. So in front of me, I have a plastic snake. There it is there. And it's designed so that when you're feeding it through the conduit, if you do come into contact with live wires, you're not going to get injured. Um, I also have a metal snake behind me, which I'm gonna show you how to use in a moment. We're gonna start with this one though. So the easy way to do this is essentially we just feed it through the conduit and it should come out the other end. So if I put that through like that, there we go. And when I hit the first bend, it gets a little bit harder. So I'm just gonna give a bit of a, bit of a push, there we go. I feel like going through. Now it's got to the second bend, bit of a push. There we go. To the third bend, again, bit of a push. And it will just go through like that. On a larger job with larger lengths of conduit, that might be a little bit difficult. And I'm gonna show you with the metal snake how we get around that. But as you can see, this one went through fairly simply and easily. And now all I need to do is tie my wiring onto the end. And this particular conduit snake has a loop at both ends. There's the end here and then there's the end here. And I can loop my cables onto that and tie it up so I can pull the cables back through. So to do this, I just take my wire. And in this case, I'm just gonna use some single insulator wire or building wire. And I'm going to strip the wire back and then I'm gonna twist it through that loop. Now there's a specific way we actually do this. We don't just put it through and tie it or anything like that. We first of all strip the wire back so it's just the bare conductors. So I just take the copper conductors there, they're not twisted, and I just feed them through. Once I've fed it through the hole in the, the snake, I then just fold it over and I twist it around itself on the copper conductor section. like so. There we go. One wire is attached. Now, assumably I want to run more than one wire because most of the time we're gonna be running at least three, possibly more. Then the next wire that I take and I put on, I'm not going to pass that through the conduit snake. I'm actually gonna pass that through the loop that I've already made from the other wire. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to stagger all the wires so that I don't end up with a big lump right here in the middle that gets, that's really hard to pull through around the corners of the conduit. So this one will then go through that loop that I made on the other wire. And it's the exact same process of what I just did, whereas I put it through the loop and then I just fold it over and wrap it around. And then I keep doing that for every other wire. The next one will go on to this wire, the second one I've just put on, and the next one on the third one, etc., etc. And then I have it like that. And now I can wrap some tape around it, electrical tape, so that the sharp ends of the conductors don't catch on the conduit as I'm pulling through. So I'll just get some tape and I'll tape that up. So when I'm taping, I start the tape off on the snake itself, wrap it around, give it a wrap around. And when I do my taping, I'm always giving it a bit of a tug. So I'm stretching that tape out. That way the tape then pulls against itself as it, as it sticks together and will not then come off, which is what I don't want to happen, obviously. Making sure these are fairly thin as I wrap the tape around and work my way all the way down making sure the tape covers any bare conductors so there are no sharp ends that are sticking off like that. Okay, and that could possibly get caught on the conduit as you're running the cable through.
There we go, like that. Ready to go. Okay, so my tape is done. My wires are now attached to my snake and all I need to do now is pass it back through the conduit. So depending on the job, if you're working on a really, really long job, then it's really handy to have somebody feeding the, the cable and the snake in through this end and somebody at the other end pulling it through. Because otherwise what can happen is it can get caught as the cabling the first time it goes through, maybe it gets caught on the edge or maybe the wiring gets wrapped around something, maybe somewhere where you're working. So it's always handy if you've got two people to be able to do this. But now all I do is pull that through and there's my wire at the other end. It's as easy as that. Now, I'm gonna cut that off because I don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna put this away and talk about what happens when you have a conduit run and this snake doesn't go through. It gets stuck and it bounces around because the curves are too hard. So let's have a look at a metal snake and see what we can do with a metal snake. While I'm tidying up, um, getting ready to get the metal snake out, an easy way to get your tape off once you've done your, once you pulled the conduit through, is if you can't get hold of it from the other end for some reason, just grab your knife and just give it just a little slip along the edge and then that will allow it to peel off and you can get your tape off that way. There we go. All done. Okay, here I have metal snake. Obviously you would only use this snake in installations where you know you're not gonna come into contact with any live wiring. So if it's a brand new construction site, yes, this is the one you probably want to use. And the reason is because of this. If I just take this out a little bit, I've just got cable ties holding it together for the moment. Um, most of the time I just have a bit of tape around it, but anyway. So here is my snake. Again, just like with the plastic one, I can pass that through. And it'll go through fairly easily, but sometimes it gets stuck. So if it's getting stuck and we cannot get it through, what we can do with this one, is we can coil it up. So we basically take part of the snake like that, coil it around our hand, and it tightens this snake up. So then you can give it a good shove, and through it comes, okay? So if you're getting stuck and it won't go any further, you just wrap it around your hand, tightens up, give it a good shove, and out it will come at the other end. Easy. And that is all there is to it when it comes to running conduit snakes. They are a very, very, very handy tool to have. Um, we use these all the time for various different parts of the industry. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if so, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.